Uh, 6.6 .6 discounts and markups. We're still talking about percentage. Um, it's just, uh, what are we doing with this? Discount, as it says, is a decrease from the original. Uh, if you put something on sale, that's a good example of a discount. Uh, markup here is the uh, increase of sort of charges to make money. Um, they might buy something for $10, mark it up to $20, and then they made money on that product. That's how uh, businesses make money. Um, we're still using the percent equation. Um, don't forget about that. All right, first example problem. This is the original price of the shorts, $35. What is the sale price? Uh, there's actually a couple ways to do this. I'm going to show you both, um, and you can kind of figure out what you like the best. If uh, $35 is our um, original price, I, I want to know um, what 25% off of that is. So we go to our uh, equation, A equals P times W. Uh, my percentage is 25%, so I would do 0.25. The whole is $35, and I'm looking for, obviously, A. When I go ahead and I multiply this, I get 8 0.75. Now, that is not the sale price. That is 25% of the $35. So I have to then subtract $8.75 um, from the $35. So I subtract the $8.75 from the $35. And when I do that, I would get uh, $26.25. Sorry, I'm running out of room on my screen here. So $26.25. Now you have to stop and think about it. Does that logically make sense? The original price was $35. We're taking 25% off. Um, you know, you don't want to be, you know, $5 left, $10 left. It, it should make logical sense. And uh, $26.25 does. You might not like that first method very much. So uh, I'm going to show you another method that I think uh, most people, um, like to use again it doesn't matter what you use but uh, um, you know it's yours to pick we still stick with the uh, a equals p times sorry p times w but this time I'm gonna use a different percentage remember my hole was thirty five dollars I'm looking for a percentage let's think about that if something's twenty five percent off uh, how much are you paying well you're paying seventy five percent of the total because these two add together to make a hundred percent your um, if it's full price it's a hundred percent if you take 25 percent off you will pay 75 percent so go ahead then and multiply the 0.75 because remember we have to put it into a decimal and multiply that by the 35 dollars and that will get you right there in that step to the 26 dollars and 25 cents so this method is as it says here find the percent of the original price so we're looking at 75 percent of the 35 dollars and that is my total 26 dollars and 25 cents again you can use either method um i personally like this one better but um it doesn't matter which one you use all right here's an example of a markup it says uh what is the original price of the shoes uh as it says there they're 40 percent off and now they're uh, Thirty-three dollars. So we're trying to find out what they were before the forty percent off. Markups are a little trickier. Um, at least that—that's my opinion. We stick. We stick with our formula. A equals P times W, and we have to obviously uh, solve for the whole number. We're trying to figure out what it originally was. Now here's the tricky part. They're forty percent off. We have to think about what they were before that. And uh, like we did on the last uh, last slide, um, you are paying 60% of what they uh, originally were. So you have to subtract the 100 uh, minus the 40% to get 60%. So my percent on markups um, is actually what you are still paying. It's that 60%. So 100 minus the 40 gets me 60%, which is 0.60. I don't know the whole because that's what we're trying to find. I know the A is $33. Uh, dollars. I, I then go and solve for W, divide by 0.6 on both sides, cancels out, W equals, that's a W, equals 55, uh, and that would obviously be $55. So what did I just find? I found 60% because that's what we're still paying, 60%. Um, 
$33 is basically 60% of the whole price. So um, it's a little backwards. Just remember when you're doing markups, you have to um, you have to subtract uh, this percentage. Excuse me, this percentage from the um, from the the whole 100%. Uh, last example I'll do for today here. It says the store pays seventy dollars for a bicycle. The percent markup is twenty percent. What is the selling price? Uh, again, actually, a couple of ways we can do this. Um, let me show you them uh, again. Of course, we're sticking with our formula here. Uh, store pays seventy dollars for a bicycle. What's the percent markup? Twenty. Well, twenty percent is our percentage, so 0 0.2, 0 0.20 doesn't matter. And uh, Let's multiply that by the whole, and we'll get seventy dollars. Obviously, that when I multiply these two out, I get a uh, a markup there of fourteen dollars. Now the um, question asked, what's the selling price? Well, again, uh, a couple of steps here. I have to now take this fourteen dollars I just found and add it back to uh, the seventy, and I will get eighty-four dollars. Is how much that bike cost? Um, I'm not that big of a fan of that one. What I generally like to do here is um, A equals percent times W. My my uh, W is still seventy dollars. Uh, what I like to do is take the seventy dollars and multiply by a percentage of one hundred and twenty percent. Let's think about that for a second. A hundred percent is uh, the seventy dollars that uh, the store paid for it. They're going to mark it up twenty more percent. So I'm going to multiply my $70 times my 1.2. Again, I just took 120%, 120%, and I put it into a decimal of 1.2. And when I go ahead and I multiply those two together, uh, I'm just going to get right, obviously, to the $84. Uh, dollars. I'm a bigger fan of that one. Again, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose. Uh, but just understand, uh, when we're talking about percent markup in this case, uh, it's 120% of this total, uh, $70. Uh, pretty tricky stuff. We'll, we'll keep working on it tomorrow. Um, hope you followed along and uh, got some of that. Have a good night.